everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to what should have been a Tuesday craft day boy I tell you what it was a day and a half yesterday <clears throat> you, I know we all heard about those horrible storms that went through the middle of the country and an unusual time of the year well we basically had hurricane force winds on December 21st uh, which is also not normal um, yesterday, during Tuesday night, uh, Tuesday early morning, there was a lot of rain, but then uh, the winds came up, and we had basically sustained tropical force winds for about, oh, I'd say four hours. And then there were several times when there were gusts uh, up in the 70s, which is hurricane force. And so, fortunately for my particular community, there was some damage, but not too much, and no injuries that have been reported. Um, we had a flagpole snap in half. Now, this is a metal flagpole, and it didn't come apart at the sections. It came, it broke right in half. It had been decorated, or is now back again, decorated with lights to look like a tall Christmas tree, and I think it made it that much top heavier. And the wind just whipped it right in half. So there's a bunch of mess all over the community to be picked up today. Mostly pieces off of trees and things like that. Um, nothing too significant. But I did see one house who lost a roof. So that is a very significant issue. So it was quite the day. And like I said when I on my community tab... We kept losing power, and I didn't want to try to upload a video with the power going on and off, because if I get it started on YouTube, and then I have to stop it, and I go back to try it again, YouTube keeps telling me I've already done it. <laughs> and, I, and I have to go back and change something about it so it won't recognize it as the same video. So I said it's not worth the aggravation. And what I have for you today is a craft outlet haul because this is transition time. Obviously, I'm now talking to you on Wednesday the 22nd of December. I'm not making any more Christmas crafts. We're, we're there now. So we're going to be thinking spring. So I have a, a haul, not too big of a haul, but I do have a haul that includes some items. Oh, all of them are actually for the spring for uh, Easter and spring itself. And I'm not sure, I haven't even opened, got all of the things out of the box, whether I picked up something for St. Patrick's Day or not. If I didn't, I'll have to go back and do that. So let me take you to a better view so you can get a, a good view of what we got in the box. And I want to show you a Christmas craft that I did not do. Uh, as you well know, we had our Christmas party last Saturday, and it was very well attended, and everybody had a good time. And there were several very lovely hostess gifts, and one of these hostess gifts is a craft, and I think it is so cute. I want to share it with you because we'll all have to make this now next year. So give me a second to reposition the camera, and I'll be back with a Christmas craft and a craft outlet haul. Be right back. Okay, look at this. Is this not adorable? This is um, a snowman, obviously. It's a wine bottle that has been painted, and you can tell by the paint that it's a chalk paint. And then it has had a face put on it. A, t a button down here and a little tie and then the hat and the hat is like I think it's just like a big round piece of felt that has been gathered around the top of the bottle with another piece of ribbon and then some decoration some little um, snowflakes and things is that not adorable You may have seen a couple of flashes. Actually, the overhead light above me seems to be blinking on and off. 
I don't think it's a power issue. But anyway, isn't that adorable? So we'll all have to save wine bottles or get friends to save them for us if you're not a wine drinker and make some snowmen for next year. And I bet you could do the Santa Claus and a few other things. So there you go. That's my hostess gift that I thought was so cute. Okay, let's see what we got from Craft Outlet. Here's number one. I think you can see these colors well enough. This is a metallic striped mesh. And I have to put my glasses on so I can give you the item number. I thought this would make a really pretty uh, bubble. Don't you think? And this is 21 inches by 10 yards. And the number is XB1023-02. XB1023-02. And it has the greens, the yellows, the blues, the purples, and the pinks. So that's going to be a pretty, pretty wreath. I think that'll make a really pretty bubble. And what else do I have in here? Now here is one. This is another metallic ombre mesh. And this is in shades of red and white. Now I'm thinking this for a Valentine's Day. And uh, so that would be very pretty for a Valentine's wreath. And the number on that one is XB101903. XB101903 in the different shades of reds and whites. Aha! And I did pick one up for St. Patrick's Day. This is another ombre metallic mesh. And in the various shades of green. And this, again, would make a lovely bubble, I think, for St. Patrick's Day. And that number is XB999-17. XB 999-17 and one more mesh I think is really pretty look at this one it's almost like a basket weave see the colors a little better pink, green, yellow I'm not sure if I'd use that for a bubble or a big um, poof wreath because you could do a poof wreath and I have some of this uh, color green, this, this almost like a lime green. I have a roll of that and that might make pretty ruffles. That would make a very pretty Easter wreath, don't you think? And then I did get a small plain purple. Oh, I didn't give you the number on this one. This is XB1047-22. XB1047-22. Now, I already have a 21-inch solid purple, and I'll give you the number again on that. And this one is RE100213. RE100213. And I have a purple ombre mesh, which is XB 999-11 XB 
and a small of red, of pink, blue, green, orange, yellow, purple, and another pink. All of the colors that are Easter colors. Now this, I'm thinking, would go really nice with this. And this one is number XB100010-1. XB100-1, no, I'm sorry, XB100-10-01. I also have a pink and a purple work frame. So I'll be using those. And the pink one is number XX748822. And the purple one is XX748823. And these are called the 1522, 1524. All right, so that's all of the mesh that I have. This is my new spring haul of mesh. So now let's see what else we have in here. Let me put some of this mesh away. And I got all of this out, like that solid mesh I didn't get in this particular shipment. But I have to get all of these out and put the Christmas ones away so that I can see what I have because I have limited space to store all of this. This is really pretty. I like that yellow basket weave one the best so far. Alrighty, now I've got some ribbons. This is a cute, let me get you closer. Okay. Pink and green and purple polka dots on, let's see. 10 yards. And the number is RGA166313. RGA116-313. And now that will go nicely with a solid pink. And that's number RG121222. RG121 Two, two, two. And I thought this was really cute. Has all of the Easter eggs on it. That'll go nicely with that solid purple mesh. And it has greens, yellows. And this one is 10 yards also. And it's RGA. One six five seven seven three, R G A one six five seven seven three. That's really really cute. There's several of those meshes that I got in there. It would look nice with. And then I got this one. I thought was really cute. It has like a border of, um, like fluff, but it's purple polka dots. And you know. I am packing up all of my Christmas ribbon to get that out of the way so that I can put all of the spring and summer ribbons out. And it's amazing that you have a lot of ribbon, you think, but none of the spools have too much left on them. So you have to keep replacing it. So this is a cute purple polka dot. Now, if I were doing like the four colors on an Easter wreath, I might do the polka dot with this one. 
and I probably would get another uh, one and a half to go with one of those. And then lastly, I got this pretty two and a half inch um, ribbon for Valentine's Day. And if I make that Valentine's wreath, this will just, because that's probably going to be a bubble wreath. And this will just make a pretty ribbon for the bubble wreath, a bow on the top. I don't put any other ribbons on bubble wreaths. So there you go. That's quite a haul. And it's kind of fun to see all these new colors, huh? We've been looking at so much Christmas colors and Christmas ribbons and snowflakes and snowballs. So let me give you a second to reposition the camera. I'll be right back. So there you go. There's a nice Christmas or spring, think spring, spring of fling uh, haul. I didn't do anything for Mardi Gras. Uh, I did a, a Mardi Gras swag last year, but I still could use, I have a little bit of Mardi Gras ribbon left, uh, but we don't really celebrate Mardi Gras here in Florida. Um, but I could make a little something that's Mardi Grasish <laughs> with one of the purples because that would be a color that would be uh, for that holiday. And I think, I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully they can have it this year. They didn't have it last year. So that's my haul and that's my video for today. And I will see you again on Tuesday the 28th. It's about a week from now, not quite, I mean a little less than a week, Tuesday the 28th. I will not be putting up a video on Christmas Eve or the day after Christmas, but I will be back on Tuesday and we'll begin working on some of our spring projects. So until then, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday. Merry Christmas and keep safe. Enjoy your company if you have company. Do it safely, wear your mask if appropriate, get your booster shots if you need them, and I will see you on the 28th. Until then, Merry Christmas, and I love you. Everybody, play nice now. Bye-bye.